So it is Boxing Day morning, we can call it that now. Still Christmas night, the overtones here after Buble. Uh, cold December night, and it is still December. And I'm joined at the studio by a fantastic bunch of lads. Hello, the overtones. Hello. Hello, Hello you Archie. didn't mention how good looking we are. Uh, okay, a fantastic, well dressed, good looking bunch uh, of lads. Thank you. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh. Uh, listen, thank you very much for coming. It's an actual pleasure to have you here. Mark, Mike, Darren, Timmy, and Lockie as well. And um, talk me through if people haven't heard of the band, what sort of band are you? Because you're not like a normal rock band, are you? No, we we are a little bit rock and roll, we maybe are, we do live early R and B doo wop. Uh, we're a five piece vocal harmony group. Uh, we've got all the kind of vocal abilities from bass right Abil up abilities for, right up to falsetto. That's the the, the handsome Essex falsetto boy there. Who what? Who likes to be told how good looking he is all the time? Well, talk me through your voices then, because I've always got confused of what is a falsetto. That's high, isn't it? Voice. What's so a tenor? Give us an example. Macho. The macho one. Lockie is obviously. Well, let's let's go through them one by one. So, oh, Lockie, let's start, let's start, let's start the bottom. Hello. Oh. Um, yeah. No, I'm I'm Lockie, and I'm I'm the bass of the group. I do the. Which is a really easy thing to do, actually, because you never get to say any words. You just go dum da dum. And you chuck in the occasional shawari wari, and all of a sudden you're in part of a band. It's it's just a thrill being the bass. Give us an example. Soothing. It is soothing. Oh, uh, maybe <laughs> actually say now, hello, ladies, to, in the deepest voice you can. Now, ladies, if you're out there, I want you to turn your stereo right up. Maybe stand near it. Ladies, good evening. Oh. I hope you've had a <laughs> astonishingly good Christmas. Okay, didn't you once say on live TV that that made your eyes ball vibrate? Oh, sometimes, because you, your voice resonates, doesn't it, when you speak? And, and that makes your eyeballs vibrate? Sometimes my vision vibrates, which means that my eyes are vibrating inside my skull. You should see a doctor about that. You should see a doctor. Now, okay, so who's next on the vocal register? Oh, well, that'll be me and Mike, I think. Cause yeah, we, you're we, next. Okay, well, me and Mike. What would you clash yourself yeah, you as? You're up the uh, middle harmonies. Ah, so, what, so what, um, what's that called then? Uh, well, is it called would, the middle harmony? I would be uh, the I'd baritone. Low, baritone. Low, yeah, low baritone. baritone, yeah. Give us a, give us a blast. Um, the f do 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 da da. Lucky, <laughs> back off. I only wanted to hear him. And then, and then basically, <laughs> yeah, for and then basically, it, me being a slightly higher baritone, I'd be like, ba do ba do. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a bit, sil breathy, it's bit, bit silky. Oh. They call me Breathy Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> so quite Mike, Mike likes the breathy tone. Yeah, it's a very go. breathy tone. Up to lovely Darren there on falsetto. Yeah, he's, he's, our, falsetto. he's our Frankie Valley of the group, aren't you, Darren? <laughs> That's me out there. And then where are you then? You must be somewhere in the range that only dogs can hear. Oh, Timmy's just <laughs> off the rector. No, really, I, I, I mix sometimes between singing lead and if Lucky's singing lead, then I'll sing the higher harmony sometimes. Me and Darren have kind of similar tones, so I sing the You high fight it out for who's well. going to lead then? Um, no, not really. I, I sing the kind of R&B kind of ones and Lucky sings the soul-y kind of numbers. Michael and he told us he only romantic did... Numbers. He said he only did the doo-wop. So, so give yeah, us a little blast of him. the high falsetto. Wow. <laughs> Glasses have smashed all over the place. Lights all over the United Kingdom yeah. have just exploded. There are no Christmas lights Sorry left anywhere. About that, uh, well, listen, we're going to put you all together. We're going to do a bit of a Christmas song on the yes. way. First, though, we're going to have a Christmas song by somebody else. Andy Williams, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, we love this one. Don't you do a version of this? Yes. yes. Is it better than Andy Williams? Yes. I mean, <laughs> no, 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 Andy Williams' version is great. You can always check it out for yourself. Oh. Fashion Love. No, oh, is that the album? Shameless plug there. Shameless. Shameless. Well, we'll have more plugging on the way. First, though, this is Andy Williams. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And I love the fact that you were all harmonising all know. the way through it. We couldn't help ourselves. I know. Sorry. Uh, so talk me through, how did the band get together? Now, I read it on Wikipedia that you were hanging wallpaper and being decorated. We're is that true? Wikipedia! You Yay! are. <laughs> is that actually true? Because it, it sounds like one of those tales that people make oh, up. Were you actually working as decorators and then you were spotted? We've done everything. You, anyone working in a creative field at some point is going to be working as a promo chocolate bar giver out a person or a that. waiter or yes. or uh, you know a bar person like you know you name it we've done it but... so were you decorators then is that all true yeah, down, yeah, down and Mike, me, me and Mike had a very crafty idea yeah I used to work for my dad Mike used to work for a friend in Bristol and we said well why don't we try and have a business and if we can get a job big enough then we can all work together it was such a nightmare 
scheduling a rehearsal because everyone was, you know, earning their crust around around the country. Um, so lucky enough, one of the first jobs we got was um, big enough for us all to be on, and we was outside having a little sing. I mean, you know, you, you you know us, we sing all the time wherever we are. So we was outside on the street having a little rehearsal for a gig at the weekend, and a lady walked past and. Uh, yeah, kind of asked asked what we were doing, who we were, gave us a card. Didn't really think we'd ever hear from her because someone in London always knows someone, you know, and they can always help you out. Um, but we got a call, I'd say three or four days later, asking us to meet some friends, and them friends were like the big people at Warner. So, yeah. so, so it was lucky, but really you made your own luck. Yeah, because we'd been together like six years before then, grafting away, you know. So I think it is a case of making your own luck and just getting out there and being seen by as many people as possible. And we, uh, and as a band, I think you have to, you know, we used to have this kind of board that we had together with, together with all these post um, post its on it, and you know, we'd send out our demos and you know, be ringing people. I used to ring like Girls Aloud's manager and hassle her, and she's like, "Stop ringing me!" Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it was like. It, it kind of we, we were at that point where we were just kind of just due a break, you know what I mean? And thankfully, it, it, it found us, you know. But you know, they asked us to learn three songs, and we knew that this was our opportunity. And I remember being really nervous on the day, but you know what? You just think we never get an opportunity to sit in front of a board of people of a record company who are gen genuinely interested in you, you know? You, well, you boys are very hard working. Do you think that's because you spent so long, six years, trying to get a break that when you finally got the break, that was it was like we're going to make the most of this rather than just go, oh, oh we're going to go crazy and. I mean, we were, we're here for hopefully for the, the long term, so you know we're constantly striving for for the, the the next project, and you know we would want to get better and better as artists, really. I think if you sit back on your laurels, then it might all slip away, and we, we're here for, for keeps. Yeah, we, we, obviously we were grafting for so long, and we know that there's, there's always someone in life trying to take your spot, what you're doing. Everyone wants to, you know, a lot of people want to be in this industry, so we know how lucky we are, and we're going to work as hard as we can. And if anyone tries to take it, you're five big guys. Exactly. <laughs> I'll knock them back. Up, so. Four big guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to ask you as a small guy, but we've talked about you singing, so let's have you singing. Now you're going to do a Christmas song. What is that going to be? Oh, well, um... We had a sort of deluxe Christmas version of the um, album out on iTunes on Good Old Fashioned Love, and one of them is White Christmas, which, like, it's just, it's just one of the lovely ones, isn't it? It, it is suits, indeed. And we, and we just love singing it. It really suits our style. So here's a little bit of White Christmas. Enjoy. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten And children they listen To hear the sleigh bells in the snow I'm, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write Oh, may your days be merry and bright And may all your Christmases be white Go on, Timmy Be white. I may all your Christmases be white. And may all your Christmases be white. Oh, I'm a one man audience. <laughs> I said, don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had anyone cry at a gig? Yeah, yes. we get a few. We get a few criers. We've got, don't we? we've got an um, we've got an amazing fan base. Um, we we've we uh, 
few weeks, well, a couple of months now, really. We finished off our um, a sellout headline tour of the UK, playing venues like the London Palladium, up and down the country, north, south, east, and west, and Ireland, of course. And it's just amazing standing there on stage, looking at the sort of level of our fan base and how much they're enjoying listening to our music. Like, it's, it's a really brilliant sight to see, and especially with the our original songs, like seeing everyone singing your, your lyrics back to you. Well, it's slightly hey, scary at times, isn't it? not only a couple of tears, I just, there's, there's bras and knickers as well being mm. held it's at the stage. Big old bras. Oh, and there's no. tipsy ladies crawling up onto the stage as well. They've right? been stage dived. <laughs> Um, you ha have you really had ladies? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. people are scoring off the stage. They, 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 <laughs> don't, they don't behave well, these ladies. To be honest, I'd say, yeah, I'd say, oh, the, worst, I'd night. say the worst behave, but yeah, having the best night, I'd say maybe 40, <laughs> Rescuing the situation 40 and there. above, I'd say. Because oh, the thing yeah. was, they, they talked about that during the Take That gigs. They said that there was a lot of ladies who went to the Take That gigs when they reformed who were going there, maybe drinking a little bit too yes. much, and then just going <laughs> mental and trying to rush the... Robbie, let me get you, Robbie! Bad night, bad night for the security guard. But yeah. a great night for us because it yeah. just means people are having a party, doesn't it? People are having fun, yeah, enjoying yeah. themselves. We, 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 were in, um, we were in Preston one night, and and the security guards had a nightmare because obviously they're all seated <laughs> venues, and all these women just like piled to the front of the stage. So obviously all these security guards are like, you'd have to go back to your seats, and they weren't having any of it. So, and at one point, this this woman, I'd say, kind of. I don't know. I'm not going to say how old she might have been. No, um, she was certainly drunk, and she she rolled onto the stage, but then couldn't get up. So we, <laughs> our tour manager and a we couple of security, just to try and chew her off the it stage. It was brilliant. Quickly. It was classic. She was just lying on the floor trying to get up. It was classic. So this, she was kind of dragged off in the end. We, we get the odd husband classic. as well that comes up and starts to join in as well. And I always love that when you see these big. Big guys and they're like, whoa, with tattoos and stuff, and they're like bobbing around to mm. Shaboom and like they're just loving it. Well, talking of that actually, because I've always thought that I could sing. I mean, but I think a lot of things and they're always well, false. Wh wh Go yeah, on, where, where would my voice register? I am no, just sing. Yeah, yeah. Probably back at your Hello. house. I'd say baritone. baritone. Definitely. Oh. Yeah. I'd, I'd say back in the dressing room. Yeah. <laughs> I think I <laughs> Thank need you. to watch my back, to be honest. You yeah, you do. My I'm in there. Uh, right, we're going to talk some more to you in just a second. First, though, let's play this. This is Paul Carrick. Source featuring Candy Statton, You Got the Love. No, I'm not saying that yours wasn't a song. I'm saying this is a <laughs> great song. I think you are saying that. I'm not. I really am not. Let's not end this on a bad note. Uh, still here with the overtones. Um, that, I would say, is the ultimate midnight song when you're going into a New Year's Day, into a new year. Yes, so that's that exactly. But Mark's got one he thinks can compare. Well, obviously, Wigfield Saturday night. Well, obviously. <laughs> I wasn't, uh, you have to, that beats everything. You have to take that out of the equation. <laughs> um, as I said before, yeah, still here with the overtones. You're going to play one more song before you go. Um, but you are very, very busy. Uh, mm. Do you have time to do anything on New Year's Eve? Oh God! I'm, are you I'm, off? I, I've yeah, I'm off New Year's Eve. Are you all off? Oh, you're well, off. Oh, you're I, I, I've nice decided I'm going to take the day off. Like, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. We, we've we've got New Year off, and then and then um, in from the second of January, we've got two weeks off. So we're all jetting off to uh, sunnier climes. Well, lucky. I'm, I'm oh, guessing yeah. with your antipodean tones there that you're maybe going back to. Are you going back to Sydney? Maybe New Year's Eve. I'm going to be on a flight. It's going to be the first time I've ever done. I'm going to spend New Year's Eve on a plane. And that's good because I really like planes. Where are you going? I am going to Australia. Yeah. No. How, do they do? Okay. How do they do New Year's Eve on a plane? You let us know, won't you? Oh, fireworks, all yeah, sorts of things. <laughs> no, but what I mean is you're going Spoilers. forward. So do you have... Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, you can have loads time zones between the UK oh, and Australia. So so when, I've probably so got about 17 time zones <laughs> to go through. There'll be so when you, there's when quite you a few glasses of carver at 30,000 feet, isn't so it? So not when you count in, do you count in at double speed? Like, five, four, three, two, one, happy new year! Why would it be so, double speed? Because, yeah, because I'm, I'm Australia gets well. A, well, Australia gets a new year's first, don't they? But you yeah, still so, would be at the same speed. No, but you're, you're flying into an earlier time zone, aren't you? So it'll right. come quicker. Yeah, right. but the Actually. second clock on an Australian, the second hand on an Aussie clock still goes at the same yeah. speed. You've lost me as well, right? Yeah, but yeah. you'll be travelling. You've right. lost everyone, yeah. including all the anyway, listeners. Moving on. Yeah, some, yeah. some very intelligent There's people, a couple of people know exactly what I'm talking about. Some, I'm quite, some people have had quite a bit of eggnog tonight. <laughs> mm. Mike, let's not confuse the whole nation. Because I'm confused and I've only got a C in maths and I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking <laughs> about. But doesn't the water goes down the plug hole the opposite direction, yes. doesn't it? In, no, in Australia. It's it's true, it's it's it does. Haven't you seen it's the Simpsons so cool. episode? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so cool. Like, proper noted that. So you're talking about, in the new year, you're talking about you're going on a tour as well, is that right? Going around lots of European destinations? We've got our second our second tour coming up. I mean, obviously, it's not till October, November, December time. Mm. But we're already thinking about, you know, looking at the stage and what we want to do. And, you know, in the new year we come back, we're actually starting writing 
um, for the second album. So even though it's all go and we're going to Europe and everything, we're already thinking about a year away already, which is brilliant. Yes. Plus, we've got our new single coming out in January. February. Um, oh, beginning of February, <laughs> I apologise. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got a great video for that that we shot in South Africa. Um, the... Oh, in South Africa. Yeah, well, hello, Chicago. Sure I drop that in there. Uh, well, listen, thank you very much for coming. It's been great. Before you go, though, you're going to play me one more song. Which song is it? Now, this is an original from our album. This is called uh, Gambling Man, and it's from our album Good Old Fashioned Love. Enjoy, everyone. Uh, before you start, though, um, you did say I was like a baritone. Do you mind if I join in on this? Yes, please, please, love please you do. Too. Do, you please do. do you actually mean that? Yeah, I do, but can um, we go in the street and sing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shall I go near the studio? <laughs> thank you. Producer, turn his mic off. Turn yeah. his mic off. Thank you. Thank you. He, he doesn't need asking to do that. Right, then we'll play this. Now this is the overtones and gambling man. Enjoy it. Ooh, I, oh, could you be the queen of hearts of the devil in the skies? With every move, I'm blinded by those diamonds in her eyes. I got some bad addiction, baby. Get you, yeah, that's right. And I feel you taking over me. Good luck, be a lady in here tonight. My just think I've never been a gambling man. I've never had the winning and but for you, I'd lose it all. My just think I've never been a gambling man. I've never had the winning and but for you, I'd lose it all. I'm raptured in your sweet loving, but it feels just like a curse. Feels just like a curse. Young beneath my skin, I start trembling. This love's so dangerous. I want you. Why don't you just place Let's your bets on me? Yeah, my eyes have stank. I've never been a gambling man. man. I've never had the winning man. But for you, I'd lose it all. My eyes have stank. I've never been a gambling man. I've never had the winning man. But for you, I'd lose it all. My eyes have stank. I've never been a gambling man, I've never had to win it and hold my feet. And I thought we'd have a little pregnant pause there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fantastic, <laughs> boys. Uh, amazing. Thank you very much for coming in. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having us. It's been amazing. Uh, have a great uh, rest of your Christmas. Have a great New Year. And now, are you ready for a total gear shift? Oh, I think yeah. you're going to play my favourite ever 80s song now. I think we are. Shut up.